pass. Let's go ahead and move on. Surface finish isn't the greatest. And three seventy two six three seventy five is my number, but you know I'm going to be threading this. I want it to be a little, a little smaller diameter. To, I don't have a whole lot of purchase down here holding this in. Give my thread die a little help. I'm going to try to uh, single point it to get it started. Uh, if I have to remove the if I have to remove the live center If I have to remove the live center, it might be an issue. And I believe I'm going to have to move it. But we'll see. Okay, we're touching there. Okay, I can do a couple. I can do a couple light passes with the live center as it is. So let's get that set up. 16 threads per inch. Move off my cross slide. Let me show you what we're looking at here. So the cross side is locked. I'm going to Loosen this nut down here. That's going to allow me to back my cross slide off, bring it back to zero every time. And I'll feed in on the compound. So, let's get you set up for that. This time I'm just going to do 10 thousandths for my check. deep enough to read it. And I said we were going to do 16. And I've already learned that you're not going to be able to see this. But I am. And that's Right on the money, it's hard to see. I'm gonna do another 10 thousandths. It's a little easier to see. Then I'm right on there. So let's do 20 thousandths. That's probably as heavy as I'm going to go.
15 thousandths. this quite a bit and um, as my lathe is right now I don't think I can chuck on that small level um, maybe I can it's the forge all that I would have trouble with and I don't think I'm on the threads either I believe I'm going to be able to face that down. Cut there. I think that's the last edge. I may try a hundred thousands.
quarter 16 top but I have video evidence that exists I'm pretty sure in the chuck here let's turn the sound on in the chuck here is my the nut that I made uh, for my cross slide where's the volume at it so I just threaded the bottom of my nut So the top exists. We're cutting. So that, seeing that video got me all excited, and uh, it's a five-eighths top. And right here, I have uh, here I have the. The drill for 5818. It is a sixty-four by four, thirty-seven sixty-fourths maybe. Thirty-seven sixty-fourths. And I have a set of taps for that. I got two ta a heavy taper, a lighter taper, and a bottoming tab. And that's again for the 5 8 18. Now, Ending to three quarter sixteen. Let me see what it says here. Three quarter ten. Three quarter sixteen must be a fine pitch. Three quarter sixteen, yeah, a fine pitch. According to the black book. Um, so I'm just going to single point it. I got my uh, key. Center marked here. Now it doesn't have to. The only center I'm concerned about is here. I can drill that hole down here, cut some off up here, and make that the center. So this line's right up on that center, and I can single point that thread with my. Uh, Internal right hand boring bar, threading bar. So now that is going to go into this. This is going to replace the compound. Number one for rigidity. Number two, is I've seen something recently and it would be built over here. And let's say you got a, um, an arm coming out here and coming up, and you could attach a shape to it. And then we got another bar coming up from here and running into that with a stylus. And that stylus will be on the same line as the cutter on the lathe so I can feed in and out on that stylus with while dupe, while making that cut over on my left tracing tracing the pattern so I'm going to try to mount some kind of tracing attachment on here so for now we're going to drill the hole thread it and uh and it'll probably say, i have the t-nuts now where'd they go good question 
I have the two nuts needed. So, check that. So let me share that with you. It's a package from uh, D-Gary Drafting and Design. And um, I did do an Instagram, I think, and maybe even a short. Well, not everybody sees those. So let me get this box open. So, there's the general information. Complete kit, complete kit, all materials, drawings, and hardware included. It's available in metric or imperial. There's a diagram, a parts list. There's a uh, kit contents. Um, and I want to come back and talk about all these X's. And let me see, I don't want to skip any pages. Well, I don't mind skipping, I just don't want to skip any crucial pages. Okay. So it's, it's you know, and at, even at the very end, there's some build notes for, you know, things to consider. And uh, you can probably build your own now that I've showed you all the plans. I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, I'm not going to. Um, I got a sticker request for a photo of the finish item. Here's my uh, flat stock. It's all marked, X'd out, laser cut. Here's all the round stock. Looks like some drill rods, some brass, and some. Looks like 12L14. Listen to me talking like I know something. Huh. And then here's a, a little teeny tiny. Little teeny tiny set screw. Now here's the the knurling wheels and springs and, and hardware. So this is my my project. Now I've uh, pulled out, determined what drills I need, what reamers I need, and the reamers. I definitely need the reamers. And they're the ones that I'll go with. Um, the taps are good. The drills are useless to me because they all drill oversized. So um, I did a little experimenting and um, Try to you know determine how how far past half inch did I need to go? I need I think I did twenty nine sixty fourths to finally get one a hole that I could ream. So and I have some undersized reamers too, unbeknownst to me. Where are they at? This is reamers up here. But I don't have a great selection of reamers, but I do happen to have the ones that I need. And that is a one quarter, a three eighths, and a half inch taps. I got a five sixteenths twenty four, a ten twenty four die. I have a five sixteenths twenty four, and. Uh, Here's a couple brand new. Here's a 374. Wait, 374. This one is a 3/8 half inch. 3/8 quarter inch. So I just, you know, need to be sure that I'm drilling a hole 
small enough that it can be reamed to size. Because I think that's going to be crucial. If I'm not clean shaven, I mean, um, if I'm not thinking properly on this, if you see a flaw in my uh, in my thought process, <laughs> it shouldn't be hard to do. You can leave a comment. We'll be getting rid of the three jaw chuck as well as the uh, four jaw chuck. Now, if I have the proper collets, because I have a limited set of collets that work on the on the lathes the lathes tapper taper which is a uh harding hardering hardings taper wow so that's the only i gotta turn the camera around these are all the um collets i have for that you can see they're a little a little broader up here than your normal than some of your other collets so if I have the collets that I need, I'll go with um, my draw bar. This is a really thick walled material. I think I ordered that from your master car. Now, see, I, I may, this is no big deal, I guess, but maybe it is. You know, there's a pretty fine thread. It's a long thread and it's accurate. And this had the internal thread. And, you know, the length of it's right, and, you know, I did that. And uh, sometimes I look back and wonder if I could repeat half the stuff that I've done. Uh, a good example. Over here, I'm going to show you. I wonder. And it is... A both left hand in right hand screw one nuts left handed one's right handed I did that in one setup could I repeat it again today I'm not sure <laughs> I thought about trying it recently <laughs> maybe I just need to watch my video and see how I did it <laughs> Okay, guys, hey, um, it's YouTube and America's foremost student machinist, Kimber Zellick. Please go visit. Good God, I can't think of the damn guy's name. Hey, do me a favor. I'm going over to Outlaw Customs. God, is that right? Outlaw Customs? It's Arco Outlaw Edge. Please go on over to Outlaw Edge. Arco is the creator. Very talented. You know, just takes flat pieces of metal and beats on them <laughs> to beyond recognition and then puts them in rollers and manipulates them and turns them into automobiles. <laughs> but he's got a Hendy lathe disassembled with new replacement parts. Um, he needs a friend. Let's reach out to him. If we have any knowledge of the Hindi lathe, uh, advice, I told him to take one component at a time, one small piece. You can only go together one way, but he's got all the pieces. He didn't take it apart. So he's just got a box of stuff. So, you know, if anything, just stop by, give him a like. Let them know I sent you over there. And um, hopefully uh, somebody with uh, Hindi knowledge will be able to assist him. He's a hell of a guy, all right? He thinks I'm some kind of machinist or something. Let's not tell him you know, the truth. But he's a nice guy. And uh, he always has positive things to say for me. You know, we all have our, our limitations. And... Um, And, um, well, let's just say the man is a truly talented 
truly talented builder. Um, unbelievable. Son's involved in the shop with him. So run on over there to Outlaw Edge. Tell Arco. Give him a big thumbs up. All right, guys. I already signed off, so y'all take care. And uh, I'll bring you along next time something happens. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be a para. What is it going to be? A paraprofessional in the education sector. In other words, I'm going to be, maybe it's a substitute teacher's aide, or maybe I'm going to be a teacher's aide. <laughs> but, you know, you pick when you want to work, where you want to work, and they give you a pretty fair you know, wage per day. I just did a lot of the training recently, and uh, you're under no circumstances are you to touch a student. There's a lot of crazy rules. Um, if two students are engaging in aggressive behavior, Obviously, you can't touch them. You have to use your teacher's voice and say, stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hope nothing like that happens under my watch. <laughs> okay, guys. This is, this is it this time. I'm really going to sign off. <laughs>